Hello, this is Rip with I Am A Side Design. And today I'm gonna to take a deeper look at the pattern tools in uh, TurboCAD Platinum version 20. Uh, so the new pa uh, pattern tools are only available in the Platinum version of TurboCAD Professional 20. And so I'm gonna start out uh, with the selection info palette open. I'm gonna go ahead and start out by go drawing a couple of concentric circles. First one I'm gonna draw is gonna be at a two inch radius. And the second one is going to be at a four inch radius. And I can, uh, now I'm going to draw a half inch radius circle and I'm going to choose the radial pattern tool. I'm going to select the half inch circle and I'm going to define the center point of the base, which is going to be the center of both circles. And I'm going to choose a radius of three inches. Now this, now I've created a pattern, which is associative, uh, to these 2D objects, this is actually unnecessary. Now I can go ahead and delete it. Now I've got the pattern. I can go into the the part tree here and actually change uh, the radius of the circle. Still, I'll just I'll go ahead and put it back to half inch. Just wanted to show you that. Oh, and also you can have rings. I can go ahead and put three rings. And I'll give a one inch step. And I could also do a Z offset for that. And that shows you the rings, which are new. Let me show you the um, Z offset first. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these rings off. Put both the radius and the Z offset back to zero. Change the count to bring us back to one. Now I'm going to grab the simple extrude tool. Now I want to have make sure use compound profile is selected. I'm going to select the outside circle, the pattern circles, and then the inside circle. And I'm going to put the uh, height to a quarter inch. Now I can still select the pattern. And changes I make to the pattern are also going to take place in the 3D object. And so I'll, let me, I'll go ahead and change it to six. I've got six here. I could go ahead and change the radius of the pattern if I needed to. And that's one example there. Now another thing I could do, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that circle and I'm going to just do the outside and the inside circles and then I'm going to do these separately and then I'll add them together so it's still one object now I can still go into the part tree the pattern and change the pattern let's say I wanted to only have four or five then I'll go ahead and select the part And I'll change, I want to change one of the simple extrudes. I'm going to change this to be 0.5. That's a little bit of a different part there. Now you can also use the patterns with the, uh, uh, with the hole tool as well. And you have to use a point to do that. So I'll go ahead and put a hole on the top of these cylinders here. So what the first thing I want to do is I want to change the work plane by facet choose the top and I'll put a point somewhere around here then I'll go ahead and choose the radial pattern tool I'm going to select the point so now this is this can be used with different types of 3d objects not just uh, different types of 2d objects not just circles it can be used with points and I'll select the center 
And then I'll give the radius to be two inches. So those aren't quite lined up. So I'm going to select the pattern of the points, change the elements to five to match the others, and then I'm going to pick the hole tool. So I'm going to select a face, select a point on the face, and something went kind of wonky here, huh? So I'm going to go ahead and select this part, go to the hole, and choose some realistic diameters to make this work. And there it is. So let's go ahead and give it a rendered view. Just with the default lighting. And let's turn off the 2D object. So there I've got a part and now everything is still fully editable. If I needed to change these patterns a little bit, I can still select, still select the patterns. And there now I have eight elements instead of just uh, five. So this is a great way to add, uh, to do some more feature-based editing of your 3D models. So this is a, uh, a pretty big step in the direction of for parametric modeling for us. Now, if you have any other questions, you can send an email to support at IMSI Design. And please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.